Well, it's great to see Congress taking the lead in this, and I encourage you to call your senators, call your House of Representatives, your, your member of Congress, and tell them how much you support this, that you want our tax dollars to not fund terrorists anymore. In the Palestinian Authority, they're called martyrs, the Shaheed. They're honored. They put up statues to them. They named streets after them. They named soccer teams after them. Uh, they put them on pedestals and then reward their families financially. And they're using our tax dollars to do it. And that was the whole intent of the Taylor Force Act. Let's stop that. Under the Trump administration, they went even further. They said, we're going to uh, shut down our consulate to you. We're going to turn that into an embassy to Israel and recognize Jerusalem as the undivided capital of Israel. Uh, they stopped the payments to UNRWA. Uh, the UN was helping fund incitement and, and training its incitement in the schools in the Palestinian Authority. And then after all of that, the PA doubled down and said, we're not ever going to stop these payments. And then to underline that, they no longer issue their budget. So we don't know how much went in 2021. Uh, we, they they are, are shutting down access to any foreign observers to how they spend their money. And so in response, should we try to open up a new consulate to them? Well, that's exactly what the Biden administration has done. The State Department has done. They attempted to do that, but forgot about international law, that they needed Israel's permission to do that. And so that didn't take off. That was a real stumble in the first year of the administration. But here's another bigger stumble. And that is restarting negotiations with Iran to try to get that nuclear deal done. But there's more good news. Senator Bob Menendez from uh, New Jersey is the chairman of the S Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He's saying, well, if we can't get guidance from the administration on how to deal with Iran, I'm going to start drafting legislation that will put this and put it into law how to deal with Iran. And that ties in with what the U.N. has now said. The U.N. Atomic Agency has issued a warning on Iran's stockpile of enriched uranium.